Hey everybody, Karen Bryant for MMA Heat talking with Calvin Cater who is taking on Jeremy Stevens at UFC 249. Uh, so Calvin, obviously this is a, a strange situation. Um, when did you get the news that this fight was actually going to happen for you? I mean, well, so we were scheduled to fight March 7th in right. uh, Vegas. And uh, so I've been training since like January 5th. It's been a long camp for me. And then um, they push it to the April 18th. And then we were kind of in limbo with everything going on. But I was still training until I got a confirmation on a no, we weren't fighting, you know. So I've been staying busy, staying moving, and uh, and doing my part to be ready for the 18th should the event go on. And, and here we are about a week and a half out, and looks like it's going to go ahead. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, how psyched were you? Did you get a, did you get a text from management or Dana? How would you, how'd you find out? Uh, as far as what? like the, the that, that Like 249 was going forward and you guys were going to do this. Uh, just following the Instagram page, okay, basically, yeah. like the rest of the MMA world. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really got much updates, but I'm on a need to know. And, uh, you know, for right now, I don't really need to know until it's time to go, which right. is, you know, Sunday, Monday. And right now I'm just focusing on finishing camp strong. And when they let me know where we're going, uh, mm -hmm. I'll be ready. Yeah. Well, so I'm sure you've seen it then. Everybody's talking right now about Fight Island. You know what I mean? And there's all this stuff now and it's going to be Mortal Kombat or like Kumite yeah. or whatever. Like, do you, yeah. you know, there's also still the realization that it could be like back at Tachi Palace type thing, you know, back at the beginning. Yeah. So like, what, what is your take? What's running through your head when you think of where you might be going to fight? <laughs> I mean, shit, Fight Island sounds a lot cooler than uh, Cali, but, I mean, I'll take it, you know, right. wherever. I was even hoping, and if we're going to get real crazy, let's do that aircraft carrier. Let's right. get wild, man. If we're going to go crazy, let's go crazy. I'm down. <laughs> That's right. What is it, the, the, the beat down at Sea Town or something? Like, people have actually thought of names for the – there was one on, – it was on The Simpsons, right, where they had a fight on the, on the aircraft carrier or something? I people, forget what they called it. People get lost in the sauce, man. That's what happens when you when – you, uh, you just leave, you know, it open ended. People right. are just getting wild. They're they're thinking all these. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, just what are possibilities and hypotheticals? Hypotheticals. You know? exactly. Yeah, people get lost in the hypotheticals. So let, they're letting their MMA imagination run run wild. And yeah. For me, it's it's I'm only focused on what I can control, and that's just you know my attention to each right. workout, each session, each meal. You know, still making weight and yeah. just doing the right things day in day out. And if I do that enough, come fight night, uh, you know, I'll be I'll be the more ready fighter. Cool. So now, you know, I'm I'm from Boston, too, initially, um, and I'm in L.A. right now. And we you know, the outbreak here is pretty bad. So yeah. we all take care. We cover up. We've been home for weeks and weeks. Um, how's it been for you at home in Massachusetts in terms of, you know, going out? How much have you been out? How 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 do you feel about all this? Yeah. Good news for me is I. I you know, normally practice social distancing, mm -hmm. uh, even outside of the Corona. So, uh, <laughs> I've been, you know, I feel like I've been preparing for this moment my whole life yeah. and, uh, now everyone else is just getting on board with the social distancing. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. But do you have, you have guys around that you've been able to train with and stuff? I mean, like you said, you've been training yeah. for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. So yeah. how, how did you have to adapt once they said, you know, we supposed to Definitely. distance? Definitely have become more limited with training partners, even yeah. gyms and, uh, you know, slowly but surely, almost every gym shut down, except for my home gym, which, I mean, they're shut down, but, um, you know, they're fitting me in to just get the one-on-one -on -one type workouts, right. and, um, you know, they're sticking with me strong, so I appreciate that, and, um, you know, helping me just get ready for April 18th, because it's, it, as much as it's hard for me, you know, Jeremy's dealing with the same shit, yep. so uh, it's, it's, it's fair for both of us in mm -hmm. a way, but... Um, yeah, definitely become more difficult with training partners, coaches. Yeah. And uh, and then now considering the travel, you know, you, you just you got all these things in mind. And I don't really want to go catch something, bring something back. It's been limited with my family members, too, because I've been, you know, out and about training and mm -hmm. obviously doing all the things I can. Um, washing, showering before coming in and out of the house, things like that. Yeah. Um, you got the the what is it? The alcohol. Yeah. Uh, the hands and stuff in the car. Just oh, I've had the thing. other kind of alcohol. Oh, you were talking about the kind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got that too, but that's post. -fight. That helps. I'm telling uh, you, yeah. it really does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good for. You. So I, I got a little. I get it all kind of uh, ready to go, but just trying to, you know, try to do my part too. I'm not trying to, um, you know, be out and about. I'm not essential, I guess, right. in a sense, right. but. I, I feel like if I don't do my job and prepare for this fight, it might be more detrimental to my health come April 18th. So, you know, try to do what I can to be ready for that boat. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, but also trying to remain socially responsible, doing the precautionary measures and yeah. things, you know. Did you consider uh, saying no to this? Because it, that is a lot to ask of you, you know, amid all this stuff. And you're like, you just said all those concerns. Did you ever think of saying no? No, no. I, I feel like if, you know, I, I gave my uh, commitment when I signed that line. I've mm-hmm. had 20 something fights and uh, however many that pulled through. And I, I, uh, I pride myself in being a true professional and I, I committed to the date. I yep. committed to the weight and, uh, in all my bouts, I haven't missed weight, not showing up once. And yep. when it's time to go, you know, there's no breaks. We ride this shit till the end. And, yep. you know, if he wants to get off the, the ride, he can, and that's on him, but I, I'm not getting out first. Well, ride, I'll ride this shit. So the brakes fall off, off a cliff. Where yes. we go? I'm ready. Yes. Well, you got a great partner in Jeremy Stevens. I mean, this is a guy that yes. loves to fight, well, loves to throw down, and is definitely a kind of guy that you know is just going to yes. say yes to whatever, whenever. Um, so, you know, this is a fight that was supposed to happen at 248. It got pushed a little bit, um, and now we know that you guys are fighting. So what is it about this matchup that you like so much? Because uh, as a fan, um, this, is a, this is a great matchup. Yeah, like you said, he's going to show up, and, yeah. uh, and I think that's – most people have, I think we're probably the most secure fight on the card almost, yeah. you know, we both come in ready to fight. And, uh, it, it's just that when, with him, especially, I mean, it's really never about the opponent for me. It's mm-hmm. just, if he's the next guy in line, so be it, you know, and it, if he's in, especially since his numbers are a little smaller than mine, you know, yeah. he's a little higher up in that rankings. I'm just looking to climb the ladder, whoever that is. I really don't, you know, I'm not past the point in my career where I pick fights. I yeah. just want the, the toughest guys in the division um, on my way to the top and just prove that I'm the best in the division. So mm-hmm. this is an opportunity for me to go and do that. And um, and like you said, I have confidence he'll show up. And uh, we'll see how many of these guys make weight. Yeah, yeah, it'll be very interesting. And, you know, even though Jeremy um, has had a tough go of it in his last few fights, you know, you can only argue that because Jeremy doesn't fight anybody easy. And you're yeah. yet another one. So he's taking quite a risk in fighting somebody like you right now, when you say? Yeah, there's no easy fights in the UFC. Yeah. You know, he's only three in his last three, but that's what happens when you go against the you know top 10 talent in the yeah. world. You know, you, you kind of get a, a um, you know, a bad run here and there. It is what it is. Shit happens in this yeah. sport. And everybody in the UFC is tough, especially when you get to that top 10. And um, I know he's going to be coming like a fighter trying to keep his job, even though he's got, you know, he's got a big resume to sit back on. Yeah. Uh, I know he's looking to get back in that will win col- column, but so am I. I don't need to put three together to, to want to win, you know. And uh, I think it makes for a great fight. And all these unknown variables happening and stuff, it's um, – Man, these cats are running around crazy around here. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! You've seen that. You've seen that one where the cat attacked the guy on his computer. Look out! Yeah, all I know is you don't you don't mess with cats. Cats no. can do what they want, but from what I see on Netflix these days, that's that's all I seem to be doing in between training sessions. Don't mess with the cats. Cats Seriously. do what they want. <laughs> Seriously, you down with Tiger King? You watched it? I watched it. I don't know if I'm down with it though. Shit, it was crazy. There's some. Right. Uh, I don't know, man. There's some crazy stuff on Netflix. The more, the deeper you get, and uh, I'm pretty deep in the rabbit hole right now. In between sessions, oh yeah, I can only after the 18th. Um, but yeah, some wild shows out there right now. It's crazy. Well, you got to tell us now. You can't just lay it out there and just be like, I'm watching the dopest stuff, and then not say what it is. Man, I, I watch crazy shit. So I mean, I, I like things that happen. You know, yeah. Part of history and stuff. So I, I watched the the Unabomber thing in his own words. Pretty pretty wild. The story of that ins and yeah. outs. Uh, sure. Right now, I'm watching. Um, it seems like we're all watching the same thing at the same time. Everybody yeah. in the world, right? It's what's trending. But right now, I'm watching how to how to fix a drug scandal. That's yeah. next in line for people to be watching, right? I just got done watching Tiger King. Yeah. And uh, I feel like those are the ones. Um, that I've been watching lately because I've already seen everything else. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Did you watch Ozark? I've watched a lot of Ozark. Yes. But see, seasons are tough for me. Yeah, I, I guess. I, I got, it's a lot. It's a big obligation, you know, and then you're looking at it when you watch a season or seasons, you right. got to add up all those hours. That's one long damn movie. You know, <laughs> I'm more of like a, a four, the like Unabomber's four episodes. I could do that, you know, right. three to four hours. Right. That's, that's enough. Uh, but I got into uh, what was the last one I got in prior to that. Rob Font gets me in these damn shows, man. Yeah. And uh, he got me. The last one he got me on was Marco Polo, right? Some some crazy. I didn't see that uh, one. Yeah. So he got me watching two seasons, and then they discontinued it. So now I'm like waiting to see an end. That's why I can't do the season. Yeah. Shit, you know? <laughs> I need to know there's an ending, and, uh, and so I can get when I get to that line, I, I could close the chapter. You right. know. That so, makes sense. Yeah. That does yeah. make sense. It makes sense. How about you? What do you want? 
Well, I, I'm on. Uh, well, we just finished Ozark the other day, um, but I have watched all that from the <laughs> very you beginning. In two days. <laughs> no, I actually we paced ourselves out because we didn't want to just blow it all at once because yeah. I love right. So <laughs> yeah. we paced it out, but I had to be careful then because I did see like some spoilers, and I was kind of like I didn't really care too much because just the show was just great anyway. And luckily, I didn't see the major spoiler, so that when it got to the end of the season, I went oh. Oh, you I, know. I started watching. I've been hearing about Game of Thrones. Finally, like the uh, the last season, right? right? Seven or eight seasons. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll go. This is before I watched Marco Polo. I'm like, maybe I'll watch this. I started watching like five episodes deep. Yeah. And I heard the ending sucked, and I just stopped watching. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not gonna watch seven seasons of something that's gonna suck at the end. You know. At the end, exactly. I just stopped. You're smart. I never got into Game of Thrones either, and at the end, I was glad I didn't because everybody was yeah, bitching like crazy. Exactly. About that. We're the real winners. Totally, totally. Hey, so the last time I saw you, Calvin, we were in Moscow, um, yeah. which was such a cool trip. I don't know how you felt about that. I know the fight didn't go your way. It was a beat, but it was a main event for you. It was three rounds. A yeah. lot of us think that if it had gone five rounds, it was going to go your way. You were really coming on strong maybe, at the end of that maybe fight. Four, maybe four. Maybe even four, <laughs> right. So there you go. So um, what, what did you take away from that fight, though, that experience, like all of it, being the main event, being yeah. in a really close fight, being in a fight that you know you yeah. could win next time? Yeah, hundred percent. I, I know I can hang with all these guys. Yeah, um, being in the main event was a great experience. Just uh, knowing that the moment wasn't too big for me, none mm -hmm. of that stuff really applied. It was kind of cool, um, just experiencing all that. And I, I just know from that experience, I want more of them. I want big yeah. moment uh, opportunities. And next time, I just got to capitalize, you know. But it was a great experience. And um, aside from you know having to switch from Boston two weeks prior to going to Moscow, yeah, but. It, they say it doesn't get crazier than that, and then here we are, you know? <laughs> so I, I feel like this fight game, it's pure chaos. So this is nothing new to me. You know, fighters can overcome. A true fighter should be able to come and, and, and adapt and overcome yeah. any obstacles in his way. That's, you know, we're fighters. So I feel like that we're all ready for uh, moments like this. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to, to put – along, what is that, about 16 weeks almost, right. uh, about um, – I'm, 16 weeks worth of work. I'm, I'm excited to just go, go put it all out there and put on a show for everybody who's dying to watch something other than Netflix. Yeah, no kidding. I can't wait either. And the, the last thing I'll say is I, I told you, I think I told you this, I was in the store with your um, nutritionist when she was buying you all your treats and candy. I was out with her and Heidi <laughs> Dean and we found this great candy store off of Red Square. And yep. we went in and she specifically went around looking for treats for you. And I think she picked some good stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I, I finished the bag, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good stuff. Awesome. Well, listen, Calvin, uh, it's really cool that you're doing this. I don't know. Um, you know, we don't know. Hopefully you get sent that location and it's not too hard for you to get to. Yeah, right. Hopefully. Uh, I'm excited and uh, really looking forward to put on a show for people out there looking for something to see and, uh, you know, give them hope to some kind of normalcy, you know. So thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Well, best of luck to you. Definitely going to be a great fight. You and Jeremy Stevens, we will see you at UFC 249. Calvin, be safe out there. Thanks so much and take care. You as well. Thank you.